Hello everyone, my name is Michael from Polygon Island, and today this is another Blender Quick Tip episode, and it's going to be on how to very easily create 3D landscapes in Blender. So, uh, there are a few ways you can do uh, landscapes in Blender. You can either download a displacement map and like subdivide it and add a displacement modifier, but we're not going to do any of that today. This is a very quick and simple, easy way to make landscapes. So let's get into how to do it. So first, we're going to delete our default cube. And we're going to go to edit and then preferences and then we're going to go to add-ons and then type in landscape and you'll see this add-on right here add mesh and landscape click this little check mark to enable it and then click down here these little three lines and then click save preferences so once you've enabled it you can go back into your like um, 3d viewport and we can hit shift a and then under mesh we can see at the very bottom we now have this new tab called landscape so if you click this it gives you this little landscape don't click anywhere else because we need this little menu and if you click it removes this menu so just click this and you see we have a lot of settings down here we can name the landscape I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep it named landscape um, if you want a material already you can have um, your material set or you can apply it later in the materials tab um, you have your subdivisions for X and Y. I'm going to change these to like 256. You can change these to whatever you want, however many subdivisions you want um, in your terrain. And then you can change your um, noise settings. These basically give it um, different kinds of like noise settings. It uses different noise textures um, for the height maps and stuff. So um, usually it's set on multifractal by a tap or well, by default. Um, I don't know what I just said there by default. But you can change it to be something like this, uh, double multifractor, and you can change the noise basis for like Perlin noise, Voronoi noise, cell noise, or blender noise. Um, you can also change the seed to be a random seed. So um, these changes, these change it. So I'm gonna go back to zero because I liked how that looked. Um, you can also change offsets and stuff, which just offset the mesh by a certain amount. I'm gonna leave these at zero. Uh, you have the depth, dimension, looking in Lucanarity, I don't know how to pronounce that word, offset and gain. Um, these are basically just your displacement values. Um, you can change your depth. Um, and that can do something sometimes. I don't really notice it ever does anything. Uh, dimension, that kind of makes it smoother. I'm pretty sure that was at one, yeah. Uh, Lucanarity, that's how you pronounce it. I don't really know what that does. It just changes it. Uh, to be honest with you, I just like tweak these knobs until I get something that looks good. Uh, offsets and gain. Uh, gain basically just shows how extreme the uh, blacks and whites are. So I'm going to put that back to 1. So now we have this and the effect type. You can have uh, all different like effect types. Like if you want like a gradient effect type uh, for your noise, you can have that. Um, but I'm going to go back to none. Uh, you can your displacement settings. You have your height, offset, maximum and minimum values, your edge level fallouts and stuff. You can also add a water plane if you need to, which will just give a plane for like water if you want to add like lakes and stuff to it. Um, but also what you can do is under operator presets, you have all these presets for terrains. So uh, you can go like abstract and this will give you like this weird planet looking thing. Um, so yeah, this will give you this weird like planet looking um, like terrain. Um, you have another noise, which is just like a noise texture. Uh, billow, uh, canyons, just different stuff like that. Um, and yeah, um, but I'm going to go back to default because it's what I have. Uh, that's kind of what I like right here just for that. But yeah, um, that's basically how you make terrain very easily in Blender. So thanks guys so much for watching. Uh, my name is Michael from Polygon Island, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.